Hello everyone. Uh, this will be part two of our modification for our DJI Phantom. Uh, we'll be doing the modification of the remote control unit. Firstly, we're going to start. This is for the 30 cm uh, big tail. This is for the modification uh, for the remote control unit. Firstly, I'm just going to take my control unit out of its backpack. This modification would be a Phillips screwdriver, a pin nose plier, and a sharp knife. Um, I also have my Dremel tool standing by, and then your remote control unit. To start off, do is we're going to remove the back we up. back here and that goes on to the board you have to make sure you do not separate that because you wouldn't want to have any problems when you are flying and you have any disconnection cables are like that just have to be very careful with that now as you can see the antenna here is being held on by these two rubbers so you can just jiggle it a bit and there it comes up Two cables here you connect it here, one is to your battery, and this is for connection to your uh, for updates and that goes up there. What are we gonna concentrate on is your antenna. You're gonna be removing this antenna here, this cable, the black cable here that you see, and that goes up here. It's gonna be replaced by this pigtail where it's gonna be connected here and then that's how it's going to be set up. You just have to be very careful when you do remove the rubber silicon here. Um, a lot of um, mods that have been done with sharp knife cutting and removing and that may do damage the board here. You need to, what, I, what I would prefer to use is to use a sharp knife to cut a few parts and then using the pin head pliers to peel off the rubber. So let's get start with this first. Take this off. Okay, that's gonna be removed. intending this to be a permanent uh, fixture so I laid out the cable uh, 
the, the best is you should try not to overlap the cables together because of the RF uh, signals. So this part is where I start drilling. Um, to make it easier, I screw back everything back in without the antenna. So at least I'll have a clearer picture of how and what I want to cut off. In my Dremel 2 will be using the cut off this end and that will help me. So that's it, all cut up, and um, I can just uh, sand this a bit later and smooth it all out. But roughly this is how it looks, everything is back to normal, I'll be taking out the screws from there. Make sure everything's all cleaned up. Cables are not pinching each other. Before we close up, I just put this here in this way so at least it will just run around. Assemble the RC back together again. something that you have to look out for. I have the flat end over this side and when I tighten it I just have to make sure that so it does not turn. Beautiful. Because you wouldn't want the cable inside to spin around. Okay, so this has all been assembled already, the modification for the remote control unit, the oxygen has all been tightened and this is all smoothened out, this is all settled here. Now for the set that came from Horizon, uh, I just took a good look at it and the connectors are very well labeled and Horizon did a good job in labeling that this cable is for the 2.4 gig LHCP dual. And the other cable here has been labeled for the 5.8 gigahertz, and that would be for the main controller right here. I placed um, industrial size uh, Velcro, which I placed over here, and on the top, if you find that it's connected this way, it can get really tight. And there you go. Tighten this. Oh, that's pretty good. It's not much give. It's fine. Just gonna try out the cables.
and that would be the connection here and here and that's how we set up for the modification this is part two of our video um, a few things that I wish to add in and earlier when I was uh, cutting away at the uh, joint in the control you have to be very careful because um, the connector is really really small I made a mistake and I, I broke the uh, connector and so I had to do a little bit of soldering but you know this I feel that this would be a permanent uh, fixture on my RC unit in case I decide to change to a different antenna system so I'm gonna leave it as it is and make this a permanent fixture so you know it, it depends on uh, you and how you want to mod your set uh, this is how I'm gonna do this on my set and okay that will be end of part two I hope to see you again for part three Thank you.